with another Mason Jar Monday. It's 8 11. It's brought to you by Honor Credit Union. It's your money. We welcome in Mr. Scott McFarland, CEO of Honor Credit Union. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. I deserve applause. Oh, you thanks, do. Thanks. Four day weekend? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Complaints. That's good. It, it's a kind of, I don't know. I had a birthday on Thursday, as you know. Um, yeah, happy I'm, belated. That's exciting. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's It's been a little difficult, a little hard to get going. <laughs> so uh, you, early. You know the first hour was a little uh, challenging, but, I, but I'm, I'm now back to my old self. <laughs> yeah, I had know. a Snickers bar and I'm, I'm back, <laughs> you're good to, I'm you're back, back to, to my old self. self. Yeah. Yeah, that Snickers and everything's good again. Yeah. And how was your weekend? Buddy? Excellent. Great weekend. Had a great time. Visit with family and uh, relax a little bit. Ate too much, which is a requirement. And uh, uh, boycott, boycotted Black Friday. Um, had a food coma, so stuck around and laid around and watched exactly. some football. So yeah. I have no complaints at all. Well, like we heard the news. I mean, people were shopping at like 6 p.m. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I heard. So, yeah, the news who needs today Black said, Friday, huh? Yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving sales were up, yeah. so Black Friday was down. It's yeah, right, crazy. Right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, today is a uh, Cyber Monday, of course. Lots of folks going to be uh, shopping online, and they we're going to be talking about four holiday scams you need to know about, right? That's right. Yeah, that uh, that last song is uh, all I want for Christmas is you. Well, all this scammers want is your <laughs> yeah. financial information exactly. really. and it's a big time for that and we want to want people to be aware of it and it's important that you take care of your money in your mason jar and as we've talked about so many times the mason jar extends through the checking account through the credit cards etc so well, there's some uh, scams that are out there we have them listed on our website in the fraud center we want people to know about them but number one is the coupon scam and what happens there is uh, you'll get information in maybe an email that asks for for online or offers online coupons. And in order to get the coupons, it requires some of your personal or financial information. Don't do it. Don't give personal or financial information in order to get something. A true coupon is something you can just get access to, have on your phone or uh, print off. But uh, do not do not give your personal or financial information. That is a free Christmas gift to a scammer. Number two, gift card scams. Again, sometimes the consumer purchases or the person could purchase a gift card at an online site. Now, this there are legitimate sites that you can purchase these gift cards, but in this case, the gift card comes to you and then there's no money on it. So you've paid for a gift card and there's nothing on the card and you don't find out until you're standing there trying to use it or even worse, the person you gave it to tries to yeah. use it. So sad situation, don't want it to happen. Want to get a gift card that you know is going to work? Pick it up and Honor Credit Union. We'll have one for you there. They're easy to give. They're great to use. And uh, you'll know that it's you're not going to have any trouble with it. Even more importantly, the person you give it to won't have any trouble with it. So technology support. So here's what happens is sometimes that the, you may, in your email box, get notification that you're going to be, there's a threat to your computer or your mobile device. And they ask you to reply and share information again personal information and that they'll be contacting you and in reality it is just one more way to draw information out so again the main theme here is don't give your information away keep it under wraps no pun intended fraudulent fake scam so here's one of the most popular ones what happens is they convince the consumer to accept a check and then ask for them to send some money back saying oh you know i'm going to send it could you send some back to me so i'm going to send you Maybe I'm going to send you $1,000 for this $500 item you're selling online um, or some form of that way. And then what happens is the scammer never, never delivers. The, the check's no good. It's bad. And so your item is lost if you're selling something online or they're just sending something to exchange. They're saying, oh, you know what, I need some help here. Can I send you 1000 You keep 500 for your trouble and I'll get the other 500 back, which is what I need. And before you know <laughs> it, the check's no good. Yeah. So... Whenever, but it's, when it sounds too good to be true, yeah. guess what? Exactly. It, it probably is. As so the old saying goes. Yeah. So the, the holiday scams, we'll call these the Scrooge scams that are out there. And why they're Scrooge is because they will get your money. You will lose your money and your mason jar will be empty with nothing in return. So again, the main, main focus here is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Check it out under our fraud center. Be aware of it. And hey, if you know something out there, you heard of something out there, you've seen something out there, share it with us on Twitter at HonorCU and let us know what you're hearing and we'll uh, we'll share it with the other people that are out there following us and get it into our fraud center so people are aware. Yeah. So. Uh, and uh, before I let you go, let's go back to the first one, the coupon yeah. scam, because Denise and I, we use coupons a lot on our phone. We so just do go I. We right to the store, yeah. 
but uh, we're not responding to anything. That's they the send key. us the coupon, and and it's good, and we use it, that's and, the and key. that should be the end of it, right? Yep. You yeah. should have if you're getting some vague coupon from somewhere you've never signed up online for, you've never done anything for, and the, you know what? Let let's be. There are some great, great coupon programs online. I mean, yeah, I use my yeah. phone. I hold it up, and they get my discount. Right. I'm happy right. about it. But you should have signed up for it somewhere. If you're getting it just out of nowhere, and then they ask you for, hey, uh, you know, Bill, why don't you share with me? What, what's your account number? I need that in order to get the full value of your – even to trick you into, the into you know what, you get another 10% off if you give us your account number. Th- that's a, Those are scams yeah. all the way, and they're just looking for ways to, to yeah. take your money. So those are the Scrooge scams. We want to keep – our members' money and our consumers' money in our members' pockets and not in the bad guys. And, and, you know, with everybody cyber shopping and swiping cards and doing all that good stuff and Christmas season, more opportunity than ever for the bad guys, and they know it. So pay attention to those statements and those bills that you get too. Make sure they're adding up and that there isn't something uh, something odd on there. Yeah. Uh, a, a bonus tip, you see something come through for a dollar or $2 on your statement, maybe when you check it out your um, debit card online or your... Beast online, call call the financial institution yeah. right away. That's the beginning of a scam, and you want to let them know right away. So, right, right. And we're doing everything we can. We're tracking all those transactions are being tracked every single minute of every single day at Honor Credit Union to make sure our members are protected. But they're all the bad guys are always out there. Yeah, they sure are. Okay, Scott, thank you. Thank you. We'll do it again next Monday. Looking forward every, to it. Every Monday, it's a Mason Jar Monday. Hopefully turning those uh, Mason Jar coins into dollars for you. It's brought to you by Honor Credit Union. It's your money.